Here are 12 shocking Cristiano Ronaldo facts you've never heard before. Let's start from the beginning, shall we? Buckle up, because Cristiano Ronaldo almost didn't grace the world with his stepovers and rocket-powered free kicks. Believe it or not, his parents were facing financial hurdles that had his mom this close to terminating the pregnancy. Except in Portugal at the time, some procedures were illegal. Thank goodness for red tape, right? Otherwise, we'd be living in a world without Ronaldo's iconic celebration. You know, the one, the hair flick, the rippling muscles, and who knows what other wonder we'd be missing. Let's just say thank goodness for bureaucracy. And you know what else we almost missed out on? Seeing Ronaldo dribble circles around defenders while rocking that iconic number seven jersey. You know what? Forget Messi dribbling past ants and imagine Ronaldo leaving defenders in his dust while sporting a jersey that screams backup goalkeeper. Yeah, that was almost his reality. Fresh off the boat, well, plane at Manchester United, they tried to slap him with number 28. CR28 sounds more like a coupon code for discount tires. Luckily, Sir Alex Ferguson wasn't handing out participation trophies. He saw a diamond in the rough and bestowed upon him the legendary number seven. Ronaldo in number seven, a match in marketing heaven. But wait, there's more. Turns out Ronaldo's roots aren't as purely pastel de nada as you might think. Turns out his great granny on his dad's side hailed all the way from Cape Verde. Now buckle up because things are about to get weirder than a Ronaldo free kick that goes in sideways. But first, do me one solid by hitting that like button and subscribing to my channel. All right, everyone, let's get this elephant off the pitch. Look, it's 2024, and who Ronaldo sets his sights on is his own personal game plan. It's not like he wears his dating app preference on his jersey, although this might be a hilarious sponsorship deal. Yes, Ronaldo's been linked to more leading ladies than there are trophies in his cabinet. Plus, his current situation is more booed up than a Champions League final. But there have been whispers for years ever since Rihanna threw some shade, or maybe confetti, back in 2013, when she told a reporter she had a lot of gay friends while speaking of him. But let's be real, that was about as relevant as a flip phone in today's world. And there's more juice. Remember those constant trips Ronaldo used to take to Morocco to visit his friend, Bader Hari? It got so bad, his club president banned him from going to Morocco. That didn't stop him though. And then there were the cozy pics and dinners flooding the net. Were they just bros sharing a love of mint tea and kickboxing? Or was there more to that bromance? Slide into the comments and share your thoughts. Is Ronaldo gay? But let's get back to Ronaldo's wild childhood for a sec. He wasn't exactly a model student. Dude got so heated during class, he launched a chair at his teacher like it was a flaming javelin. Hashtag expel. You gotta respect the passion though. Maybe not the weaponization of classroom furniture, but the passion. This love for the beautiful game burned so bright, Ronaldo ditched school after sixth grade and dedicated himself to football full time. Now listen up kids, stay in school. Unless your principal throws shade like Beckham, then maybe reconsider. But Ronaldo's dedication? That's some next level hustle. Speaking of next level, get ready for a story that'll have you checking your pulse. Just when you think you've heard it all, the next bombshell will stop your heart. Literally. Ronaldo's life hung in the balance as a teenager. Apparently, teenage Ronaldo wasn't just dodging defenders. He was dodging the Grim Reaper himself. Turns out the dude had a heart condition called tachycardia. Basically, his heart had the rhythm of a hummingbird on espresso. Most folks would have called it quits and retired to a life of checkers, but Ronaldo? Nah. This man's heart post-surgery, of course, is made of pure titanium. He underwent surgery, then bounced back to training faster than a dropped Instagram story a week after heart surgery that's the kind of dedication that makes lesser athletes question their nap schedules so there you have it the first five bombshells about Cristiano Ronaldo's life and trust me we're just getting started again smash that like button if this has blown your mind already and don't forget to subscribe for more juicy content we're about to go even deeper down the Ronaldo rabbit hole and you don't want to miss it all right so we know Ronaldo nearly died and all that heavy stuff but did you know he also nearly nearly joined Barcelona back in the day. That's right, the Catalan Giants were desperate to get their hands on the young phenom when he was tearing it up at Sporting CP. Barcelona's president at the time, Joan Laporta, was ready to do whatever it took to bring Ronaldo to the now camp. But Sir Alex Ferguson wasn't about to let his prize slip away that easily. The mad lad met with Ronaldo, looked him dead in the eyes and said, you're taking the number seven jersey at United, kid. It's your destiny. 
And just like that, Fergie secured Ronaldo's signature for a measly 12 million pounds. A bargain if you ask me. Can you imagine Ronaldo lining up alongside Messi all those years? The world might have imploded from all that talent on one team. Crisis averted, I guess. Of course, being a megastar isn't all glitz and glamour. Ronaldo's success has brought its share of legal headaches, too. Like this sketchy tax situation. Now, we all know Ronaldo as this global superstar, this legend of the game. But let's not forget the man had his fair share of struggles off the pitch, too. Like the time he was nearly sent to the slammer for tax evasion. That's right. Back in 2017, the Spanish authorities came knocking, accusing Ronaldo of hiding millions of euros in offshore accounts. The man was staring down the barrel of a 15 million euro fine and a potential prison sentence. Talk about a nightmare scenario. But you know what they say, the key to success is staying humble. Just kidding, it's having a team of savage lawyers on your payroll. Ronaldo's lawyers, sharper than offside traps, wrangled a plea deal. A slap on the wrist, well, a 16.8 million euro slap, and a suspended sentence that basically said, don't do it again, or maybe just hide it better next time. The man would have been running laps around the prison yard, leaving his cellmates in the dust. Or maybe he would have started a football league behind bars, putting all the gangs against each other on the pitch. Who knows? All I'm saying is I'm glad we didn't have to find out. Talk about evasion. Have you hit those like and subscribe icons yet? It'd be a crime not to. I promise it will be worth your time, and we all know time is money. Speaking of money, let's talk about the real reason we're all here. Ronaldo's insane wealth. He's not just a footballing legend, he's a certified billionaire. The first footballer ever to join that ridiculously exclusive club. And get this, he's only the third athlete ever to reach that peak, rubbing shoulders with giants like Michael Jordan and Tiger Woods. Not too shabby for a kid who started out kicking a ball on the streets, right? But Ronaldo didn't become a walking money machine just by being fancy footed. This dude's got business acumen sharper than his cheekbones. He's got sponsorship deals raining down down like Manchester weather. Nike basically signed him for life because, duh, so he launched his now wildly successful CR7 lifestyle brand. This man is cashing checks left, right, and center. And let's not forget his legendary endorsement game. Ronaldo will hawk anything from shampoo to spaceships if the price is right. Remember that uh, interesting fitness video he did a few years back? Yeah, that was probably fueled by a truckload of cash. But hey, if I had a physique like that, I might sell my soul to do jumping jacks in a banana costume. And you know what's even more impressive than Ronaldo's bank account? His philanthropic efforts. This dude's got a heart bigger than his trophy cabinet, donating millions to charities and good causes over the years. We're talking auctioning off his fancy Ballon d'Or awards, basically the Oscars of football, to fund sick kid wishes, and even personally paying for life-saving surgeries for some of his biggest fans. Talk about putting your money where your mouth is. And that's not even mentioning the time he sent aid to the victims of the devastating earthquakes in Turkey and Syria early last year. The point is, even with a bank account that would make a dragon horde jealous, Ronaldo hasn't forgotten his roots. He's a global icon, sure, but he's also an icon for using his fame to help others. Major props to CR7 for showing the world you can be a superstar and still have a heart of gold. Speaking of which, those like and subscribe icons are right there, just a click away. Go ahead and smash them so we can move on to one of Ronaldo's toughest moments. He shows an unbelievable amount of strength and resilience in the face of unspeakable tragedy. Some time ago, Ronaldo suffered the biggest tragedy of his life. Right after him and his partner Georgina Rodriguez announced that they were expecting twins, the world found out some devastating news. The baby boy had died. Ronaldo described it as probably the worst moment he had passed through in his life since his father's death. Despite the immense grief, Ronaldo showed incredible strength and resilience. He returned to the pitch for Manchester United's next match and scored his 100th Premier League goal, dedicating the celebration to his baby. The home fans at Liverpool showed their support, applauding Ronaldo in consolidation when the clock hit the seventh minute. It was a heartwarming moment that reminded everyone that some things are bigger than football. For as much as we know, Ronaldo the footballer, there's a whole other side to the renaissance man that might surprise you. While football is undoubtedly Ronaldo's greatest passion, it's not his only hobby. Believe it or not, football isn't even his favorite sport. Got a surprising secret passion, basketball. This dude can jump higher than a cheerleader on a sugar rush, throwing down dunks like he was auditioning for the Space Jam sequel. 
He even loves boxing and UFC, even though he knows he'll never go pro. But Ronaldo's not all brawn and ball. He's got a hidden musical side too. From bumping Portuguese hip hop to smooth R&B, this man loves his tunes. He even tried his hand at singing, and let me tell you, the voice isn't half bad. He has been known to belt out his favorite songs wherever he goes, leaving fans in awe. All right, we're in the home stretch now, but trust me, these last few revelations are going to blow your mind. Even more than Ronaldo's insane leap against Sampdoria back in 2019. Remember that? The man literally defied gravity. An athlete, a musician, a true man of many talents. But even that doesn't fully capture Ronaldo's amazingly oversized legacy. We're talking levels of global fame and influence that are simply out of this world, literally. Let me explain. Ronaldo's greatness extends far beyond the pitch. Forget leaving his mark on the pitch. Ronaldo got his name written in the stars, literally. Back in 2015, astronomers stumbled upon a galaxy over 12 billion light years away, and well, let's just say they were big fans. They named it Cosmos Redshift 7, or CR7 for short. How's that for cosmic clout? Dude isn't just a football legend, he's a galactical one too. Hey, you know what else is out of this world? Ronaldo's social media following. We're talking follower counts that would make Kim Kardashian shed a tear, of envy of course. At last count, he had over 630 million followers on Instagram alone, making him the most followed person on the platform. Heck, the man has more followers than most countries have citizens. But you know what's even crazier? Ronaldo didn't even have to show his ass once to amass that kind of following. Nah, he just let his talent and magnetic personality do all the work. And let's be real, who wouldn't want to follow a man who can bend it like Beckham, score like a prime Ronaldo, and look like a Greek god all at the same time? It's a no-brainer, really. So there you have it, folks. 12 mind-blowing facts about Cristiano Ronaldo that will make you question everything you thought you knew about the man, the myth, the legend. From his humble beginnings to his stratospheric success, Ronaldo's journey has been nothing short of epic. If this video didn't make you a big fan of this legend then I don't know what will. But hey, even if you're still a Messi fan, you've got to respect the greatness. So go ahead, smash that like button and subscribe for more hot takes and juicy content.